Full-level expert Sun Wan and the enemy boss perished together, and the powerful energy that erupted led her to enter the technologically advanced interstellar era 300 years later. Severely injured, weakened, without money, identity, or education, only accompanied by equally injured pets. The big shot rubbed his fists and palms, fearless. In times of peace, there is no need to fight. Let's do something else. Keywords of the novel Full-level bosses are laid off and re-employed in interstellar space without a pop-dot-up window, full-level bosses are laid off and re-employed in interstellar space. Download the complete set of TXT, and read the latest chapter on full-level bosses being laid off and re-employed in interstellar space. Chapter 1 New Arrivals in Urgent Need of Re-Employment You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 1 New arrivals in urgent need of re-employment late at night, with a smelly garbage dump and a huge metal waste area, Sinwen lay in a metal cave formed by natural stacking, his eyes slightly open, staring at the floating light screen in front of him, his mind following the content of social news, trying to ignore the pain on his body and the faint heat flowing in his body. The heat flow comes from external energy, but it is too weak, just like water droplets falling into the sea, unable to lift half a circle of ripples and then there is no movement. Outside the cave, half of the remaining vine tightly coiled around a person like a snake. A flower bud on the vine tip quickly grew and formed, blooming into a basin-sized double-petal flower, swallowing the unconscious person directly. So big an adult, quickly melted and absorbed by the digestive juices in the stamens, turning into nutrients for half a vine. This is not the first person it ate. Lying in the metal cave, Sinwen once again received a faint heat flow in his body, a little energy shared by the vine, and at the same time, the various disdains of the little plant pet came from him. Master, the food is so weak now. Only a first-level superpower has a little bit of ability, and it's not worth it to expend so much effort to capture it. Good boy, make do with it. In times of peace, there's no need to work hard to eat and drink. Who would work hard to exercise themselves? Of course, it's not like us back then. Modern superpowers don't even have combat instincts. If it weren't for their greed and relentless pursuit of you, we wouldn't have wasted our energy to silence you. Tsin Wen is a free warrior. After wearing it directly on the battlefield for 300 years, in just a few days, his mindset cannot change at all. He is still the same as in the post-apocalyptic battlefield. He doesn't care if his little pet who has been following him for many years devours a few superpowers. On the battlefield, life is the heaviest and least burdensome. The food brought to our doorstep, even if it is a living person, is not worth it. It is human morality that she did not instruct the plant pets to actively prey on supernatural beings. Shouting skillfully cleaned up the scene and once again crawled into the metal garbage mountain, searching deep for energy boxes with residual energy. The residual energy in these energy boxes is more than that obtained by killing a few first and second level superpowers. Garbage shoppers also want to find this type of highly valuable recycling and utilization. Tsinwen also continues to browse online. She is an antique that has just been worn for 300 years, and of course, she doesn't have any smart products. The ones on hand are all from the unlucky ones who were eaten. Except for the first one who was directly killed, the others who were sent to her door were all caught and asked for a statement before being killed. Therefore, these personal electronic products have changed their passwords and become Sin Wen's personal belongings, including the bank accounts linked to the original owner's identity, and the money inside is also Sin Wen's. The garbage collectors who come to the garbage dump to pick up garbage are all low-dot-level poor people, and their accounts and cash combined only barely exceed 100,000 yuan. But for Tsin Wen, this amount of money is more than enough to cover the three to five months of life in front of him, and can also allocate a portion of the capital for small business. Freedom warriors have no choice but to be laid off and re-employed, as they are heavily injured and their strength has declined. What kind of work is good to do? 
A first level wood type superpower is not qualified for planting flowers and grass, nor for being a private gardener. Tsinwen tried to activate his internal abilities and found that there was not much choice. Oh no, I can't even grow good varieties of flowers. The ability transfer is not smooth, and most precious flowers and plants with good varieties are delicate. If the spell is not smooth, it may directly kill the flowers. Hiss, there's only growing vegetables left. Sinwen made a decision in his heart, closed the smart bracelet, and slowly sat up while supporting the metal wall. He took out a bottle of water from the space and sipped it one by one. Space comes from small vines, which are inherent in devouring talents. Not only can they store items, but they can also use space skills, such as teleportation and long-distance teleportation. Now that the main pet is seriously injured, these space skills are temporarily unusable. Tsinwen used to mock herself more than once before that she would be useless without Little Tingtiao. Now she still thinks the same way. Without Little Tingtiao and supplies, she will not die from serious injury, but also from hunger and thirst. Fortunately, under such severe injuries, the space that Little Tang had originally expanded step by step with upgrades did not shrink. Otherwise, his entire body would be in the space. If there were any losses, Sin Wen would be heartbroken and cry to death. For woody mutants, the most important material is various plant seeds. After 300 years, the seeds that were collected with great effort to preserve species diversity are now of great value. Some may have become ordinary varieties, while others have become rare varieties. But no matter what, they are all treasures of Tsin Wen, and he cannot bear to lose a single one. Putting down the water bottle, Tsin Wen took out a bag of tomato seeds, took one and placed it in the palm of his hand, directly giving birth to several mature fruits, leaving behind one to bite. Can give birth to tomatoes, Tsin Wen is still very satisfied. Tomatoes can be cooked in a variety of dishes, and eating them every day won't make you tired. The difficulty of inducing the growth of green leafy vegetables is lower than that of tomatoes, especially for varieties of green leafy vegetables with a short growth period. If there are multiple vegetables available for sale in rotation, setting up a small vegetable stall business can be done. In the past few days, browsing the internet, she knew that the fruits and vegetables produced by the wood-type superpowers still have a market in modern times, but there are also prerequisites. With her current level of first-level strength, she needs to rely on the vegetable business to make money, and only in places where food is difficult to eat can she have a place to play. Coincidentally, there is such a place outside this garbage dump. Black Market According to the intelligence leaked by garbage collectors, the black market is a crucial part of their livelihood, and the garbage they collect is brought back to the black market for sale. When Sinwen heard the word black market, he was tempted. Sinwen died together with the enemy's big boss on the battlefield, unleashing tremendous energy that lasted for 300 years. Apart from having no money and serious injuries, she also had no education or legal identity. Sin Wen, who was accustomed to buying or selling scarce goods on the black market 300 years ago, can now think of making a living on the black market, earning some money, and finding ways to obtain a legal identity. After eating, Sin Wen had enough rest and reopened her smart bracelet to continue learning online. With a 300-year gap in social technology, she needed a lot of tutoring. Although the text remained unchanged, she had to relearn the language. Otherwise, as an ancient speaker, modern people would not understand it. It was difficult for her to communicate with the prisoners at that time. As dawn approached, little Tingtiao returned to Tsin Wen's side, guarded by it. Tsin Wen, who had not slept all night, slept peacefully for a few hours before waking up at noon. She used her current level 1 healing technique to brush her body, ate something, and crawled out of the metal cave that had sheltered her for several days. The sunshine was just right, warm on his body. Tsinwen glanced at the local calendar on the smart bracelet, which was the most comfortable late spring April of the first half of the year. End of this chapter Chapter 2 Find a place to live and settle down 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Find a place to live and settle down The small vines contracted their branches and wrapped around Sin Wen's wrist, pretending to be a bracelet. Sin Wen, dressed in clean clothes, carried a head of dirty and messy hair, dragging his heavy footsteps along the small path under his feet, walking towards the outside of the garbage dump. Along the way, you can see the figures of many garbage collectors, moving around in their respective territories, some working, and some resting. They saw a woman with arms wrapped around her, walking unsteadily, and describing herself as disheveled, and their reactions were mixed. Hey, this is my territory. Get out of here. This is to drive away for fear that one's territory will be taken. Where did this come from? There's actually a woman appearing here. This is curious. Come and deliver the food. It looks very intense as you walk. Oh, come here to deliver takeout. You really have all kinds of preferences. Those who are willing to come here are definitely cheaper. I'll go ask. A man lifted his pants and, under the gaze of others, ran down the garbage mountain. Hey, girl, how much does it cost to sleep for one night? Get lost. Tsinwen saw someone blocking the way and wanted to avoid it, but when he heard the other person say this, his eyelids lifted and he coldly uttered a word. Hey, it's just someone who's out for sale, exuding a certain aura. The other party was slapped in the face, but without any entanglement, they angrily shook their hands and left. Tsinwen felt a bit uncomfortable, being sexually harassed and scolded for no reason, and being a top-tier boss didn't have a good temper. She looked up and down at the man's back, and saw that he had a strong physique and looked relatively healthy. With a slight movement of her fingers, she launched a deadly attack on the man, absorbing his vitality to nourish herself and cutting off his restless desires, ensuring that he would not be able to lift his spirits for the next half month. Wood type abilities are inherently related to life, and the masters who can grow up have their own trump cards, some of which are well dot known and some are strictly kept confidential. Sin 1, a killer weapon developed from the reverse direction of healing techniques, is the latter type, absolutely confidential and dare not let anyone know. When on the battlefield, she only uses it when she is alone and deeply surrounded by enemy forces, harvesting the enemy's lives one by one, and then being eaten by little vine. Because this tactic of killing is invisible, it is somewhat suspected of being anti-human. Anyone who knows it may one day become evidence of attacking herself. Fighting does not hinder internal conflicts in political struggles. She is also a free warrior who does not stand in line, and with the addition of an equally skilled pet, each person in pet can support a combat battalion. The enemy has placed her name at the top of the bounty list, and I don't know how many people hope that she will die and share the inheritance. Seeing the first man in the past being rejected, there were many soft laughter around her. As Tsinwen slowly walked out, another man stopped her one after another, but of course, she was all rejected. She was also sucked into life by Tsinwen because her mouth was not clean after being rejected. Don't take their lives, it's just making them lose their inner strength in the short term, lose their desires, and even taking medicine is useless. When Tsinwen walked out of the garbage dump, he absorbed the vitality of four people along the way. Not only could he help her suppress the pain for a few hours, but he also gave her some strength to wander around the black market. The black market does not have a prominent big sign, but instead looks like a crumbling shantytown, which is in line with the surrounding environment of the garbage dump. Tsinwen followed the scattered flow of people, passing through several small shops on the roadside that opened their doors for garbage recycling business, and walked into a dual-lane path. This was the main road to enter and exit the black market, and inside was a narrow alley densely covered with spider webs. Looking around, there were various storefronts without landmarks, making it easy to get lost. She didn't care whether she got lost or not. She stood at the intersection and saw which direction had more people, so she walked there. After more than half an hour of twists and turns, she arrived at a small square. The small square is a large flat land with hardened roads and a thousand to eight hundred square meters. There are no statues or fountains, 
but instead, it is crowded with various small carts, all of which are small and interesting people who set up stalls. They have food, drink, and daily necessities, and sell anything. Looking around, there are people in front of each small stall. Sinwen observed for a few minutes and felt that this place was quite good, and he could also set up a stall himself. But there must be rules for setting up a stall. Sinwen was not in a hurry. He circled around the small square and found eight streets around him. He found a real estate agent on one of the streets and successfully rented a large room in a cheap apartment. At the intermediary, Sinwen asked about the rules of setting up a stall, including which local snake to look for, how much protection fee to pay, and the requirements for the size of the stall. Not only did he ask clearly, but he also asked about the preferences of that local snake. That big brother and a few of his subordinates are specifically sitting in the square, which is a fat job because the street vendors have to show some filial piety. If Tsinwen wants to set up a stall here to sell vegetables, he definitely can't save it. Tsinwen Xian went to the apartment first. Against the backdrop of the surrounding high dot rise buildings, the eleven story apartment was modeled and faded outside. It is unknown how many years ago the building was, and the quality is really good, and it can still accommodate people. The environment inside is also decent, with cleaning robots responsible for daily cleaning of public areas, not as dirty and messy as imagined. It is easier to go upstairs and enter the room. There is a large room with a narrow drying balcony. Except for its own cooker and sanitary ware, there is no furniture. It is clean but clean. The former tenant has cleaned it after checking out. It is a state of check that I end with bags, but can only sleep on the sleep on the floor. Tsin went and took out the bedding she used to use for outdoor camping from the space and placed it in the corner near the balcony. Then, she put down the small vine and freely moved around. She went to the bathroom to take a shower. After the blood stains that had dried up on his skin flowed away, Sinwen felt a moment of relief on his body, muttering that it was better to take a bath like this in peacetime 300 years ago, which was considered a luxury. After washing herself clean, the ferocious wounds all over her body were also revealed. As her strength had regressed to a beginner level, she couldn't even cure her external injuries and could only stop the bleeding. Then she continued to endure and let the wounds heal on her own. As for the more serious internal injuries that could kill her at any time, as long as she didn't vomit blood, she pretended that the injuries didn't exist. There are medicine supplements specifically designed for psychics these days, but just think about it. Tsinwen has searched many shopping platforms online these days, and the price of special medicine supplements for psychics is directly proportional to the level of their abilities. The higher the level, the more expensive the price doubles. This is easy to understand, but there is a strange thing that can only be purchased online up to level 5, and the sixth level is the customized page. Why can only go through customization from the sixth level? Sinwen doesn't understand. She only knows that with her level of proficiency in wooden abilities, she doesn't have the money to take medicine. Is she miserable or miserable? Sinwen wrapped a bandage around herself briefly, poured it on the bed, opened her wristband and went online. Now that she has a fixed address, she needs to buy some daily necessities. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Reemployment is still very smooth. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 3 Reemployment is still very smooth. The black market is like a bustling small town with a large population, where people do all kinds of business. Sinwen buys nearby and drones come to deliver goods in minutes. The cramped drying balcony is actually a delivery platform for drones, and packages are directly delivered here. Sinwen finished placing the order and slept for two hours in a daze. When she woke up, she went to the balcony and saw that all her packages had been delivered. A small vine basking in the sun on the balcony for photosynthesis, when Sinwen woke up and swam over, he didn't need to give orders and took the initiative to flexibly unpack all the packages. Sinwen only needed to categorize various items. 
She also bought square planting pots and matching planting soil, plant nutrient solution, packaging bags, modern vegetable seeds and other supplies. After planting vegetables, she put the pots together and pushed them to the square in a small cart for sale. It can be seen that it is grown in the soil, which has higher credibility. Otherwise, there are only a few vegetables. Who dares to buy them with confidence? Of course, I also bought trauma medicine, with different ingredients. I only understand the instructions for use, which are for trauma use. The price varies, and I can only test the efficacy of the medicine on my own. I wrapped my body in bandages, and after eating a convenient hot meal, I quickly started to feel sleepy again. I fell asleep and fell asleep. In the middle of the night, Tsinwen woke up from her dream and heard that the sound at the door was not right. When she reached the door in the dark, she looked out through her cat's eye and saw two people holding decoders to crack her password, exerting force on her password lock. This cheap apartment doesn't even have a visible intercom at the entrance, only a cat's eye, paired with dim lighting in the hallway. It took Tsinwen a lot of effort to see that these two thieves were so bold that they didn't even cover their faces. She only moved in during the day, and that night a thief came knocking on her door. Tsinwen thought for a moment, maybe it was because she bought too many things during the day that caused the trouble. Fortunately, I changed my password. Tsinwen muttered as he opened the balcony door and summoned a small vine to follow on guard. Then she returned to the door and unlocked it directly. The inside is locked, and the decoder on the outside also shows that the unlocking has ended. The two thieves put away their belongings, lightly pressed the door handle, and slowly opened the door. Standing behind the door, Tsinwen kicked the door and forcefully kicked it open. At the same time, the door panel hit the faces of the two thieves heavily, and he immediately saw Venus bleeding from his nose. The small vine whizzed out, curling up the feet of the two people. No matter how many more bumps their heads hit on the ground, they were dragged into the house and thrown onto the floor at the door. After all this fuss, the two thieves felt dizzy and disoriented. They couldn't figure out how they had been attacked for a moment, as they had a headache and were about to vomit. Tsinwen casually pulled the door back and checked the outer lock. Feeling a bit angry, he turned around and kicked each of these two thieves. I just moved in today and you broke my door lock. Now I'll give you two options. Either you lose money or I'll sell you to a black clinic. Tsinwen's two feet were merciless, and with just a few clicks, they kicked their arms off. Ah! Spare my life! Spare my life! We compensate! We compensate! The pain of the fracture made their confused minds clear a bit. These two thieves begged for mercy while regretting. Before they started, they couldn't guess that it was an iron plate, and their minds were blinded by the constant supply of delivery drones during the day. Open the wristband, cancel the power on password, and hand over the bank account password. Tsinwen opened his mouth and demanded all his property. Yes. The two thieves dared not bargain and obediently followed suit, otherwise they wouldn't have to go to the black clinic, and their other arm and legs would be in danger. This can be considered as the survival wisdom of low-dot-level thieves. If they are caught doing something, they can still suffer less if they are beaten or punished. Tsinwen took their wristbands and glanced at them, pouting dissatisfied, but still transferred the money to another account. The sum of the two is less than 10,000, are you so poor? It's just because I'm poor that I can do this. The two thieves were quite aggrieved. I have also taken the bracelet, go away, don't let me see you again. Yes, 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 thank you big shot. Thank you big shot. Two thieves dragged their broken arms and ran away in a rolling motion. The door can still be closed but cannot be locked. Tsinwen asked Little Tingtiao to guard the door and find someone to repair it at dawn. As for the decoder that the two thieves left behind, it was also thrown into the space. She never turned on the lights from beginning to end and was not worried about what the two thieves should not see. After tidying up, Tsinwen fell back and continued to sleep. 
I had a good night's sleep, and when I woke up again, it was almost noon, with warm sunshine outside. Tsin Wenjia took a shower with bandages, compared the wounds treated with different medicines, found the ones with better efficacy, placed more orders, wrapped himself up as a mummy again, and then contacted an agent to find a master to fix the door lock. Neighbors around also began to discuss the new resident. In the middle of the night, people around heard the commotion. The walls of the cheap apartment were thin, and the sound insulation was not good. It was impossible to hear the details of the conversation clearly, and continuous screams could never be heard wrong. Shouting so harshly shows that this newcomer is not easy to deal with. Neighbors quickly reached an agreement, don't provoke her. Sinwen does not communicate with her neighbors, so she naturally does not know their evaluation of herself. She takes peace of mind and goes out for a walk in a small square at different times every morning, noon, and evening, observing the market and the behavior patterns of the local snakes sitting here. The order and security of the small square are quite good. The local authorities collect money to handle matters and do not allow any disharmony such as fighting here. They also help to handle after dot sales disputes. Sinwen observed for three days and found that there were still vacant stalls in the morning market by counting the number of stalls. He then gave birth to a pot of small vegetables and a pot of tomatoes in the apartment, packed them in a bag, and left. The person who watched the scene was called Jie Gu. Ten of his subordinates took turns patrolling the square. Sinwen picked up something and casually stopped one of them in the small square. He handed a tomato alone and was led to Jie Gu. Jie Gu, I'm new here. Seeing the thriving business here, I would like to rent a morning market stall. This is a small gesture of respect, please accept it. Sinwen handed the two bags of vegetables and tomatoes, and Jie Gu opened them like a quality inspector and took them out to take a look. Did you grow it yourself or did you purchase it from somewhere? I planted it myself, I am a first level wood type superpower. Jie raised his eyebrows, then lowered his head to look at the vegetables in his hand. He picked up a tomato, wiped the skin, and took a bite. The sour, sweet, and juicy taste in his mouth relaxed his eyebrows and eyes. Well done. Jie Gu casually nodded at his younger brother, tell her the rules. Thank you very much, brother Jie. Sinwen followed the people with a smile. Jie Gu asked his subordinates to take two bags of vegetables to cook and eat, while the one in his hand was treated as fruit. With a few bites, he swallowed it and wiped his mouth, feeling that it was truly the best tomato he had ever eaten. The first level would type superpower also had a high level of proficiency in spawning vegetables. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Weakness returning to weakness is not a vegetable. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Weakness returning to weakness is not a vegetable The younger brother collected money to handle matters, took Tsin Wen to recognize the stall, and drew her name Ah Wen on the stall, indicating that the stall was occupied during the morning market period. Even if she didn't set up the stall, no one else was allowed to occupy it. Similarly, before her time arrived, even if the stall owner in the afternoon market arrived, they could not force people to rush. Having secured the most important booth, Sinwen continued to work on other preparations. She bought a second dot hand small cart and rented a locked warehouse compartment on the ground floor of the apartment for parking. She also bought more planting pots and other planting supplies. After five days of lazy and leisurely preparation and recuperation, my wounds have finally scabbed all over my body. Even if I do some hard work, I don't have to worry about my wounds bursting. I can start selling now. There is a large shelf placed on the small stall truck, with ten planting pots arranged horizontally and vertically, seven pots of small vegetables, three pots of large tomatoes, and more than twenty pots of the same vegetables for backup in the space. When you are in good health, take turns planting and selling these ten pots, and when you are not in good health, take the spare ones and sell them. Everything was ready, and Sinwen didn't delay the whole day. He dragged his small car to set up a stall early in the morning. 
During the morning market, many housewives and elderly people from the surrounding area come to buy food for the day, but the black market is not conducive to production. All supplies are transported from outside, and the food prices are not cheap. The packaged food produced in large quantities by factories is still good, and ingredients related to freshness are more expensive. The people who come to the morning market to buy things are ordinary people with limited income, so buying two greens requires careful consideration. As soon as Tsen Wen's small stall car was displayed, it attracted the onlookers and crowds from the surrounding vendors. Looking around, no one bought it. She wasn't in a hurry either. On her first day at the stall, she saw many people in the crowd opening their wristbands and secretly taking photos. When the news spread online, interested people would naturally come. For the whole morning market, Tsinwen didn't sell a single vegetable. At the end of the stall, Jia Ji's younger brother came over and asked for a pot of tomatoes, but didn't pay, which was considered filial to Jia Gu. The protection fee is given to the gang, while the filial piety is given to Jia Gu and his younger brother, and the difference is very clear. Tsinwen collected the stall and sent the small cart into the warehouse compartment, and then all of it was collected into the space. Just as she was about to lock the door and leave, she suddenly had a sudden inspiration, and her intuition, which had been trained on the battlefield for many years, along with the small vine on her wrist, sounded the alarm. There is someone behind me. Master, someone is peeking at us, Tisk, it's really troublesome. Tsin Wen withdrew his hand and walked back into the grid, taking the small cart out of the space. He then took out an old cart from the space and carefully stacked ten planting pots on top of the cart. He locked the door and left. When waiting for the elevator, someone is approaching from behind. Little Tingtiao issues another alarm. It's him peeking at us Tsin Wen didn't look back, only observed the reflection on the door behind him, then went into the elevator and headed to his own floor. Returning to the room, Sin Wen simply tidied up and ate something to lie down and rest. The weight of the small cart was real, and her physical fitness was fully compromised due to serious injuries. It was not difficult for her, so she should rest well. Little Tingtiao stayed inside to guard, paying attention to the entrance and balcony, and beware of any unexpected guests. It was peaceful all day long. In the late afternoon, Sinwen ordered frozen meat from a grocery store a few blocks away to make braised pork belly, and cooked a little tomato meat sauce for the next noodles. When going out to throw garbage, the smell of meat wafts into the hallway, and many people drool when they smell it. People living in this kind of cheap apartment have limited living expenses. They mainly live on instant food, and even poorer people can only drink nutrients. 10 yuan is three times the daily energy needs. But as long as people are people, they don't know that braised pork belly is delicious. Damn it, if you have money to eat meat, why are you living here? I don't know which door came with an unbearable foul language. At the garbage dump, Tsin Wen was recognized by passing neighbors. After chatting for a few words, he realized that he was somewhat of a small internet celebrity. In the early morning, while selling vegetables, the crowd uploaded the footage to the internet. Now everyone around knows that there is a person selling potted vegetables here. Of course, the neighbors wouldn't buy groceries, so they parted ways after chatting, but this news gave Tsin Wen two points of confidence in his small business. The next morning, Tsin Wen left on time to set up a stall. The business has opened this time. Just like yesterday, seven pots of vegetables and three pots of tomatoes sold out in less than an hour. When he saw Jie's little brother coming over, Sin Wen took out a packaged bag from a corner of the small stall, which was still a bag of fresh tomatoes. As the young man took the bag and was about to leave, another round-bodied male customer came to the stall, holding a tomato that had been eaten halfway. Sin Wen saw it as his own. Sin Wen was quite happy that the returning customers came so quickly. The other party saw the bare planting pot and directly took out a bundle of tied cash from their bag, shaking it in their hands. Five pots of tomatoes, if you can take them out, I'll give you all the money. 
That bunch is all currency with a face value of 100, at least 10,000. Not to mention buying 5 pots of tomatoes, 10 pots are more than enough. There are 3 plants in 1 pot of tomatoes, and in order to control the quality of the fruits, only 15 or 6 fruits are left per plant. By calculating the unit price this way, a fruit costs over 20 yuan, but with the addition of the labor cost of the wood type superpower, it is not expensive. Otherwise, how to distinguish it from naturally growing vegetables, fruits, and plants, and the time saved by directly ripening it, will be the labor cost of the superpower. Okay, wait a moment. Tsinwen was like a magician, digging in this corner of the small cart. As he dug in that corner, he quickly cleared five planting pots, planted seeds, and watered them with plant nutrient solution. Putting down something, the wooden ability was immediately activated, and the seed sprouted on the spot, emerging from the planting soil. Wood type superpower. The guest raised an eyebrow and generously paid the money, standing aside to continue nibbling on his tomatoes. Okay, I'll wait. Surrounding crowds of onlookers opened their wristbands to take photos. It's rare to see a person with a superpower in this neighborhood, let alone the plants that the person gave birth to on site. It's really rare to see. It's not difficult to spawn five pots of tomatoes with the only level one ability left now. In the past, in order to provide food and drink for all the military and civilians in war, the legitimate level one wooden ability players started from hundreds of square meters. If they couldn't spawn fruits and stems like tomatoes and potatoes, they had to spawn vegetables, and even if they didn't feed the grass, they could do it. Tsinwen suffered a serious injury that caused her strength to decline, but her understanding and application of strength had already reached its peak. Five pots of tomatoes were just a blink of an eye for her. But she did not do so. Now, 300 years later, the current wooden type superpowers have not drained their motivation to desperately improve their strength like their predecessors. It can be seen from various websites and forums online that their level of strength is really not as good as before. Of course, she needs to stay consistent with the general public. Her method is to induce a period of growth, then spray plant nutrient solution, take the opportunity to rest, then continue to induce a period of growth, and then sprinkle nutrient solution repeatedly. It looks slow, but she always puts five pots together, which makes her look very hardworking. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 The Disguising Little Bunny You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 the disguising little bunny the customer with a big and round waist finished eating the tomatoes in his hand and gradually bought various foods from other stalls, guarding the small stall and waiting while eating. Looking at his body of meat, he didn't eat a single bite for free. As the progress reached the end, more and more people gathered to watch the excitement, and even Sinwen's pruning and flower cutting could make them make a sound of regret. Sinwen strictly controls the quality of her products, but she is also a conscientious seller. Since she receives five pots of tomatoes, she will not raise the price midway. If the customer wants more fruits, she will reduce a few flowers. In the end, each plant will produce 20.1 or 2 fruits. The customer was very satisfied and took the initiative to help support the bag. He picked two laborers from the crowd to help him hold it. What will be sold tomorrow? Tomorrow only sells vegetables, today I'm tired, take a two-dot-day break. Tsinwen always remembers to maintain a consistent persona with the public. After a hard work, as the lowest level first level would type superpower, take a two-dot-day break to restore his abilities and spirit. It's normal. Don't just sell these two types every day, just switch to a few more varieties. Okay, I'll switch to a green leafy vegetable tomorrow. No, 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 what I mean is that you have ten pots. Dot. After the big brother finished speaking, he squeezed his eyes at Sinwen and led someone to pick up something and leave. Sinwen quickly closed his stall. The morning market is almost over and he can't stay any longer. She understood the big brother's meaning and revealed something today. Tomorrow, 
she was afraid that more people would ask her to give birth to a certain variety of vegetables on site. As long as she was willing, her small vegetable business could be customized. Before leaving, she caught Jie's little brother from the crowd and took out a bag of pre-packaged vegetables from the small cart to give him. There were both vegetables and tomatoes, and she couldn't forget her filial piety to Jie. Returning to the apartment, the small vendor cart was escorted into the compartments, and with a clanging sound, they tidied up and pulled out a handcart filled with planting pots. I was blocked when I came out. Seven or eight little rascals, one holding a knife, one holding a stick, and one holding a homemade earth gun, looked at the shell and were worried that firing one or two more shots would explode. One of them looked familiar and was the person who had been staring at her from behind yesterday. Tsin Wen immediately raised his hand and surrendered. What do you want to do? Tsin Wen saluted the soldiers first and asked politely. What if the other party's group only came to ask for directions? Why can't you see it? I heard you made a fortune today, and my brothers are just short of money to spend. I want to borrow some from you. Okay, how do we calculate the interest? Nine out and thirteen out. What? After three hundred years, young people nowadays can't understand what nine exits and thirteen returns mean. Sin Wen shook his head regretfully. Illiterate, don't come out and rob. Borrow ten thousand, get nine thousand, and return thirteen thousand. Got it, okay. Damn it, you're playing with me. Don't think a first level superpower is amazing. Before the other person could finish speaking, Sin Wen forcefully kicked her feet and burst into the other person's arms like a human shell. Her raised arm tilted slightly and she hit her heart with a heart-pounding elbow, flipping the person to the ground on the spot, and then rushed towards the guy behind with a homemade gun. The moves practiced on the battlefield are all killing moves, and that one heart-piercing elbow can really blow the heart. However, Sin Wen's blow was all focused, he just knocked himself unconscious and didn't kill him. She has compromised her physical fitness, not her fighting spirit and skills. Her skin and flesh injuries are almost healed, and it's easy for her to overturn a few little bunnies with explosive power. In the blink of an eye, the earthen gun changed hands, and the little rascal holding the gun lay unconscious on the ground. Although it's a local gun, it still uses an energy box. Sinwen wouldn't use this kind of gun from 300 years later. She would just use it as a stick in her hand and knock a few heads to prevent this inferior thing from exploding the pipe. Do you still need to borrow money from me? Do you still need money? Even a weak chicken dares to come out and learn how to rob, with long white eyes. A shameful thing. The seven or eight people who blocked her first collapsed too, and the remaining few ran away when they saw the situation was not good. As a result, none of them were as fast as Tsin Wen, and none of them escaped. The knives and sticks in their hands seemed to have become useless toys, all of which were knocked on their heads and fell to the ground, howling with their heads wrapped around them. Tsin Wen collected their knives and sticks one by one, threw them onto his own cart, and flew away. Before leaving, he also gave them some vitality to nourish himself and gave them a small lesson making them think that the weakness and weakness for the next half month were due to this beating. There are no secrets in the apartment, and gossip spreads rapidly. The story of the wooden superpower in the building being robbed and beaten up quickly became known to everyone, and even spread to the streets. The small video captured by the crowd in the morning market has also spread online. In a certain black market morning market, there was a first-level wood-type superpower who gave birth to vegetables on the spot, causing a lot of heat. Netizens commented on everything, some mocked the first level for showing off, and some knowledgeable people saw what it meant to be effortless. There are certainly knowledgeable people in the black market, so the next day when Sin Wen set up a stall, the customers who came specifically were just like the big brother said yesterday, directly specifying the vegetable variety. Some even brought the vegetable variety and bought a bunch of money. Tsin Wen sold out the ten pots of vegetables she brought in just fifteen minutes. For the rest of the morning market, she was busy customizing for customers, and of course, she made a lot of money. 
Among these vegetables, in addition to traditional varieties, there are also new varieties that have never been seen before, all of which are edible fruits and vegetables cultivated by agricultural scientists from harmless mutated plants over the past 300 years. Even if someone gets a seed for the first time, it may not necessarily lead to success. Fortunately, Tsin Wen is not an ordinary person. Her ease of handling satisfied the customers and they all returned home, expressing that they would come tomorrow before leaving. As usual, pass a bag of vegetables to Jia Ji's younger brother, and Sun Wan will leave the stall. Today was very smooth. No one was blocking her outside the grid, and the neighbors she met, regardless of age, politely took the initiative to keep a distance. Yesterday, a group of little rascals lay on the ground with a miserable appearance, and now they are still hanging online. There is such a big shot living in an apartment building without security, which makes many neighbors of all ages, women and children feel quite secure. Three hours in the morning market really earned Sin Wen tens of thousands. She first bought herself some shrimp and fish fillets, prepared to make a seafood pot at noon, and then lay in bed searching for shops selling psychic supplements in the black market, comparing prices, and buying herself some supplements. She has no money or status, and cannot customize supplements that are suitable for her level. So, buy low.grade ones. It won't cure the injury, but it can also alleviate the pain. She has been through countless battles and is accustomed to getting hurt, but it's not that she doesn't know the pain. If her internal injury doesn't heal for a day, it hurts all day long, but she can tolerate it. Starting from the sixth level, everything is customized, so Tsun Wen naturally won't look at those. She only looks at those within the fifth level. A first level one is not enough, it's too low dot level. It's like drinking plain water, drinking it is equivalent to not drinking it. Supplements for levels 2, 3, 4, and 5 are available on the black market, but depending on the quantity of sales, levels 2 and 3 are the most popular. This also shows what level of superpowers are the main players in the black market. In theory, the number of first level superpowers should be the highest, but at this level of income, there is not enough money to drink supplements recklessly. So it's not surprising that second and third level supplements have the highest sales volume. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Strong Buying and Selling on the Street You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Strong Buying and Selling on the Streets and One Didn't Have Much Money on Hand, so he took a glance at the third-level supplement and put it down. He focused on comparing the prices of the second-level supplements from various stores. Uniform specifications for supplements, one bottle of 100 milliliters, one box of 20 bottles, with a unit price ranging from 200 to 230, and a full box price ranging from 3900 to 4400. But there are many brands, each with countless branches below, corresponding to the entire group of psychics. Even the most niche psychics can find suitable drinks and supplements for themselves. Tsin Wen looked at these unfamiliar brands and picked one after another. He chose a brand in a store that sold 4,000 boxes, mainly offering free shipping throughout the store. Other stores selling below 4,000 without exception had to pay an additional 10% shipping fee, which added up to over 4,000. Things can be a bit more expensive, but it's definitely not possible without free shipping. Tsin Wen picked five brands, the cheapest one was 4,000 per box, and the most expensive one was 4,290 per box, spending just over 20,000 yuan. One hour later, the package was delivered, and Tsin Wen exclaimed to himself, fortunately, I didn't buy a third level. The shop shipped the goods in their original boxes, and the beautiful outer packaging box was clearly printed with a second-level wooden special ability supplement. Tsin Wen opened each box and took a bottle to drink. It was not surprising to find that the most expensive box of supplements had the highest content of active ingredients, while the middle-priced two had a better taste. So these three boxes were put into space, and the other two boxes were placed on the table as water to drink. I won't buy them again in the future, and I will try changing to five different brands next time. The next day, when setting up a stall, 
Watson Wan faced customers who were asking her to give birth with their dishes. She boldly opened a bottle of second-level supplements and drank them all in one gulp, realizing that she was a first-level perfect person who needed to reach the level of second-level strength. Drinking second-level supplements below this level was a waste, and her body couldn't bear the medicinal power contained in the active ingredients. The consequences varied from person to person. Her performance has certainly boosted customer confidence and increased the amount of money she gave. After the onlookers uploaded the video online, netizens also flipped through the discussion about her. I drank two second-level supplements during three hours of morning market time, and there was nothing wrong with it. Even without a level certificate, my personal strength is still a flea on my bald head, which is obvious. After finishing today's business, Tsin Wen pulled his car back to the apartment and was stopped by a young man dressed like a salesperson at the entrance. This person smiled politely. Tsin Wen paused in his footsteps and wanted to pull the car around him. Don't buy insurance, don't apply for a card, borrow it. With a smile on his face, he immediately took a step and continued to stop Tsin Wen. Tsin Wen pulled the car and stopped. In level 2, I have a soil type ability to block the road on the street. What do I want to do? If there's no good reason, do you know how heavy my car weighs? The other person patted the badge on their left chest. I'm from the Spring Sprout Mutant Mutual Aid Association on the neighboring street. This is the badge of our association. Sinwen lazily glanced at the size of a coin, with a relief bud on the golden surface and a line of characters at the bottom. The Spring Sprout Ability Mutual Aid Association was not even noticed by him or her. Free people are not allowed to join the association. As soon as the other party reported their identity, Sinwen knew what they were up to. Regardless of the mutual aid association, Sin Wen was determined from the beginning to obtain a legal identity in the black market and leave. Most of the psychics in this neighborhood have a difficult life, and after joining the guild, they have had a great life. You have such great talent, selling vegetables is hard and earning less, so we have a job that is more suitable for you. I'm not interested. Our mutual aid association has strong strength, covering several surrounding street areas. Your mutual aid association has nothing to do with me, I'm not interested. Can't you understand and refuse? Get out of the way, don't get in the way. You're just at the end of the first level, don't be too arrogant. That person has lost face and patience. Tsinwen suddenly felt a slight prickling sensation in her brain. She wouldn't mistake this feeling, it was someone with a mental system hiding in the dark attacking her. This attack doesn't seem to harm her, it's more like attracting attention. Tsin Wen's attention was indeed drawn away, and anyone who was attacked by mental attacks would have the same reaction. Strong mental attack abilities can turn a normal person into a fool, and even slightly weaker ones can make people feel dizzy and unsure of what they are doing, making it difficult to defend themselves. Thanks to the tough skin, thick flesh, and strong spirit of the high dot level expert, this small trick could not harm her, but instead allowed her to lock onto the position of the superpower and extract a wave of vitality from the air. And the earth type superpower in the second level on the opposite side also launched an attack. Tsin Wen immediately felt a weight on her feet, and the gravity around her feet was moved, as if she was pressed against a big mountain, making it difficult for her hands and feet to move for a while. The other party took out a metal ring from their pocket and was about to forcefully put it on Sin Wen. Sin Wen watched as he approached, also draining his vitality and accelerating the rapid loss of his abilities, allowing himself to quickly get out of trouble. It's really annoying. Two supernatural beings, one openly and the other secretly, forcibly recruited people to join the guild. She didn't want to expose her combat power to attract more attention, Otherwise she would have grabbed the small vine and directly killed him. What kind of mutual aid association, this kind of forced recruitment thing, is it a cult organization? This person had no idea that he was on the brink of death and locked the metal ring onto Tsin Wen's right hand, which was hanging a small vine, Tsin Wen only glanced and saw that this thing was powered on, and the electric shock contact was not hidden at all. It was exposed on the side that was close to the skin, 
with a silent warning that goes without saying. Finally, the person stuffed a small card into her palm. Remember to come to our club to get the badge, otherwise, you understand. He meaningfully pointed to the electric shock contact on the ring, then took a few steps back and withdrew the ability. Tsinwen felt a little relaxed in her recovery and didn't pursue that Earth-type superpower. She drained him of a lot of vitality and couldn't live for a few days, but it didn't seem obvious on the surface. This technique used to be specifically used by her to deal with specific groups of people, which meant she had to engage in normal activities in front of them for a few days before dying suddenly, even if there were witnesses around her at the time of death. No matter how the autopsy was conducted, it was just a sudden death from a heart attack. As for the psychic superpower who ambushed her, if he had slipped away earlier, he would not have lived long either. Tsinwen lowered her head and looked at the card with the address printed in her palm. She would go for a while. On the street, many passers-by filmed and uploaded the scene just now to the internet, and there were even live broadcasts. Tsinwen heard them explain what was going on with the Spring Sprout Power Mutual Aid Association while broadcasting. This psychic had just appeared in the morning market when such a thing happened. Netizens were more gloating than sympathizing, all watching the excitement, and they couldn't expect netizens from thousands of miles away to preside over justice. Tsinwen put the card into her pocket expressionlessly, pulled the car back to the apartment, and put it away. For the rest of the day, she followed her own routine, searching for the address of the mutual aid club on her bracelet, and then checking the situation at night. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Disrespect towards the big shot and sacrifice one's life for it. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Disrespect towards the big shot and sacrifice one's life for it at around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Sin Wen was drinking water from a cup when suddenly his wrist felt a pain and numbness. He let go of the cup and the water spilled all over the floor. Shit! Sin Wen gripped his numb wrist and let out a rude expression with a cold face. Electric me! Is it serious? The small vine basking in the sun on the balcony quickly slipped into the house. No, the intensity is not high, it's just a slight numbness in the wrist, which should be a reminder. Are you going there, go, of course I have to go. Otherwise, what if they increase the intensity and make me electrocuted all over? Sinwen bit his back teeth and used his abilities to rotate his wrist muscles. After relieving his discomfort, he wiped the floor, changed his clothes, and went out. The building where the Mutual Aid Association is located is on the adjacent street, very close, occupying a 12-story century-old house. It looks ordinary outside, with mottled exterior walls that blend with the street view, and modern interior decoration. Tsinwen showed the metal ring on her wrist to the receptionist on the first floor, and soon a guide robot took her upstairs to report to the new person on the second floor. As he stepped out of the elevator, Sinwen noticed that at least half of the men and women walking in the corridor on the second floor were like him, with metal bracelets on their wrists. Judging from their expressions, no one was as reluctant as he was. Turning her gaze away from the crowd, Sinwen focused on observing the office settings on this floor and found that the door signs were all related to human resources, but she was more curious about where the finance room was. Just by looking at the decoration inside, you can tell that this organization must be very wealthy. Sin Wen is not in a bad temper. Of course, she wants to get some compensation and remove the damn handcuffs on her wrist. The guiding robot directly opened an office, which was a suite. The outermost room was the visitor waiting room, and through frosted glass, one could vaguely see the secretary's desk and the manager's office inside. Sin Wen knocked on the door with her hand, and the secretary inside opened the door to lead her to meet the person in charge and complete the new procedures. The person in charge inside had a business-oriented attitude, not even asking for Tsin Wen's name. With a glance at the metal ring on her wrist, she began to ramble on about the rules that newcomers must follow during the meeting. Having heard about benefits and benefits, they are all beautiful pancakes, but the obligations and contributions that members should fulfill to the Mutual Aid Association make her unhappy. 
Wait a moment, even if I volunteer to work overtime from 9 to 5, I will have to return the money I earned outside and pay you a share. Why? Compulsory membership, pay to work, you have such a big face. The other party did not provide any explanation, just raised his hand and clicked on the optical screen in front of him a few times. Immediately, Tsen Wen felt his entire right arm electrocuted. Do you understand now? The other person smiled at the corner of their mouth, with a seemingly ordinary workplace smile but a hint of disdain. When will this thing be unloaded? This is the contribution level that I will talk about below. Once the contribution level is reached, it can be unloaded. As he spoke, the person also lit up his wrists, except for the smart wristband, which was clean and without the eye dot catching handcuffs. She, you're quite good at squeezing people. Tsinwen didn't ask how much contribution he wanted, so it wouldn't be an easy goal. Let's first mock and vent our dissatisfaction. It's not a good thing for young people to have a big temper, the other person said with a thoughtful tone, raising their hand and poking towards the screen of the computer. Without waiting for his hand to touch the screen, Sinwen took the initiative and directly drained his vitality. He looked at a large living person coldly, and two seconds later, he turned into a soft and limp corpse lying on his desk. Little Ting quickly took action and collected the body into the space to absorb it, while the indigestible artificial items were still vomited back into the space. The devouring talent comes with its own space, which is how space is used. In addition to Tsen Wen's personal items, thanks to the infinite space of the full-level planting emperor, when the space was small, one master and one pet would fight and make noise in order to divide the space. Tsen Wen then walked around to the back of the table to look at the content on his screen. A row of office software was opened on his computer, and the screen displayed the operation interface of the electric handcuffs. She looked one by one and found that the computer did not have the authority to release the handcuffs. However, when she was renting out the house, she was electrocuted, meaning that the discharge and handcuffing had different permissions. The discharge permission was low, and she didn't want to be electrocuted, so she obediently reported to join the club and became a dedicated newcomer. When the contribution level is truly achieved, people have also undergone the brainwashing process through long-term contact and interaction. Even if the handcuffs are removed, they will not leave. The Mutual Aid Association has obtained a loyal and dedicated superpower. It's indeed a cult thing, let's destroy it. It was impossible to join the association, so Tsen Wen fixed his gaze on the secretary outside. The small vine slid lightly onto the ground, and the vine tip peeked out from under the crack in the door. There's no one outside, no one outside anymore unify the secretary and make her obedient little Tingtiao had just swallowed someone and was having the strength to launch a small teleportation through the door panel. Three to five seconds later, Sin Wen received a reply from Ji Chong. Done, Sin Wen opened the door with a handkerchief and hooked his fingers at the secretary with a scattered gaze. You, come in. The secretary walked in like a puppet, while Little Tang stayed outside to guard against sudden arrivals. Tsen Wen directly took out the smart bracelet left by the person in charge from the space and asked the secretary if he knew the startup password. The secretary really knows such a private thing, including which bank his private account belongs to. Tsen Wen tried it and found that there was no login verification set up, so he went in directly with a balance of over 5 million yuan inside. She asked her secretary to open her bank account, transfer the money, and then keep her secretary's bracelet for herself. Finally, she inquired in detail about the situation of the mutual aid association, including the layout of the building, especially everything about the finance room. The position of secretary may seem unremarkable, but it serves as a link between various departments. Even the most inconspicuous secretary clerk, if willing, is a qualified gossip speaker and knows everything. Under the instructions of the secretary, Sin Wen drew a detailed internal map. Then, she mercifully drained her vitality. The principle of Little Vine's obedience is to inject a small amount of venom into the human brain, which also contains some components of a true emetic. Otherwise, there would be no question or answer 
and the side effect is to damage the brain. Ask what you want to ask quickly, as the medicine will be useless once it surpasses you. Tsin Wen has done so much, how could he possibly leave a living person to arouse the vigilance and self-examination of the Mutual Aid Association, and to completely silence him? She had never touched the desks of either of them, at most touching the screen of the optical brain, which would not leave fingerprints or other biological information. After confirming that the environment was safe, Tsin Wen leisurely returned to the outermost waiting room and sat cross-legged on the sofa surfing the internet to pass the time. She deliberately caused a time difference, delaying for a few tens of minutes. Either someone came in or she took the initiative to go out. Anyway, she was going to make a mistake and accuse them of wasting her time. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Spiritual compensation also must be required. You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 8 Spiritual Compensation also must be required when Sin Wan was immersed in social news, someone outside opened the door and came in. Hey, is someone busy inside? How long have you been waiting here? It's been almost an hour, there's no one inside. Ah. No one. The visitor opened the small door inside and glanced at it. Continuing inside, they opened the manager's office and came out with a puzzled expression. It's really not there. When you came, there was no one inside. When I was a newcomer reporting in, there was no one around when I arrived. The guide robot took me to the door and left, but I didn't dare to leave because I was afraid you would come back and electrocute me, making my buttocks numb. Tsin Wen complained unhappily. Then don't wait, go back. They may be out for something. Hurry to death and rush me over, but no one receives me. Play with me. Tsin Wen Deng became angry, pretended to be angry, got up, and vigorously opened the door to walk outside, attracting curious glances from many people in the corridor. Sorry, let's come back tomorrow. They must be there. Tsin Wen didn't say a word, but stomped his foot and left angrily. The various offices in the corridor gossiped with each other, and immediately learned that the manager responsible for reporting new employees and his secretary were skipping shifts together. However, when they called each other separately, they found that they couldn't reach each other. But as for the camaraderie among colleagues, that's it. Even if we can't get through a few communications, it's okay. Who knows what those two people who skipped work did. Let's say hello tomorrow. Sin Wen returned to the first floor, swung his wrist lightly as he stepped out of the elevator, and then walked straight out the door. The small vine, which had already shrunk and turned into a thin thread, slid down in an instant, following the leg wind brought by walking in and out of the crowd, and floated lightly to the stairwell, sliding towards the third floor underground. According to the secretary's statement, the finance room is located on the third basement floor with a large safe. Every now and then, a team of armed security guards escorts cash boxes in and out through the back door. The last time I saw them was two weeks ago. This secretary only knows about this matter, and as for whether there is money in the cash box, she has no right to know. One of little Fujita's tasks is to go sneaking around and look for it. She is a senior boss, and today she suffered from the boss's crimes. She was mentally attacked suppressed by gravity, and even electrocuted. How can she justify this series of crimes without receiving some compensation? Little Tingtiao drilled through every crack and smoothly passed through the entrance control of the finance building on the underground three floors. The entire floor was filled with various offices related to finance. Little Tingtiao and never tire of it, drilling through each door and taking a glance. It comes with its own space technology and is sensitive to the environment. It can't hide any office with a darkroom, but in fact, those darkrooms are suites of large offices, just deceiving the naked eye through tightly structured invisible doors. Little Tingtiao has also looked at each of these suites one by one. Tsin Wen was in a dark alley on the street, with the main pet feeling the same frequency. Little Tingtiao saw whatever she saw, and she followed suit. She didn't think this kind of search was a waste of time, only believed it was necessary. 
In the end, luck still leaned towards them. Little Tingtiao crawled into a double-door conference room, and inside stood a safe the size of a container. The small rattan quickly got close to the crack in the door. This exquisitely crafted giant safe had no gaps to drill through, so it couldn't even penetrate through the crack. However, the small rattan still stuck on, and with just a little gap, it was enough. It could teleport in, saving a lot of effort compared to directly passing through a tightly fitted large iron door. Wow, master, it's all money as soon as Little Ting entered, he let out a joyful scream. I see, the cult really has money in contribution, much more ruthless than the tithing tax. What are they hoarding so much cash for, who knows? Bribery. Trading prohibited items. They could all be useful, otherwise the black market wouldn't still have the maximum cash flow today. Inside, there are three large shelves, stacked with stacks of paper currency. Just a glance gives off a feeling that money is paper. Good boy, take the money and leave. Okay, Xiaoding opened up the space, cleared it in a second, activated teleportation, and left the building directly. Following the induction between the main pets, it landed directly next to Tsin Wen and lightly wrapped around her wrist. Tsin Wen immediately went out from the other end of the alley, pretending to be shopping nearby, searching for a place to have dinner, and finally picked up a bag of convenient food and daily necessities to go back. She didn't even look at the money in the space when she entered the house, so she washed and slept directly. She had to set up a stall early in the morning, so she didn't have time to do anything extra at night. A good dream, the electric handcuffs on his wrist were not messed up. When he set out early in the morning, except for the customers waiting in front of the car for customized vegetables, the people behind him who were watching the excitement were all patting the handcuffs on Sin Wen's hands with wristbands. After being publicized by enthusiastic netizens in the black market, the Chunya Mighty Mutual Aid Association had already reached a consensus for a day. It was highly likely that this mutual aid association was the core of a cult. Apart from that, forcibly recruiting people to join the association on the street was not something that a normal and legal organization could do. However, this is a black market, which is already a lawless place. It's not surprising what happens. Customers waiting for vegetables to ripen also had casual conversations with Tsin Wen, talking about her handcuffs. The main reason is that customers see her carrying this item without a badge on her chest, which is a ready.made conversation topic. Hey, what are you talking about? One earthly and one spiritual faction cooperated and forcibly fitted me with this thing on the street, urging me to report. As a result, I sat for an hour without a seat. Since I entered, the office was empty, and there was no one left. I couldn't wait for someone, so I was told to go back first and go again today. Are you sick? Tsin Wen complained while working, and the angry resentment was genuine. Customers had to comfort her repeatedly to calm down the anger. She deliberately propagated her innocence and misfortune to gain some sympathy from the public, waiting for the Mutual Aid Association to erupt into internal turmoil and provide new fun for netizens. This kind of Mutual Aid Association with a cult-like nature, hurry up and destroy it. Living one more day will make people angry. In the afternoon, Tsin Wen arrived at the building of the Mutual Aid Association at the same time as yesterday and confirmed with the front desk lady whether the person in charge of the new check that I N was actually there, so as not to let her make another trip in vain. The front desk couldn't call the secretary lady's desk, but she couldn't get through no matter what. Tsin Wen also entered the scene and waited with a good temper from the beginning. She became a bit impatient as she watched the front desk dial twice but couldn't get through. She hugged her arms and asked the front desk to call again, but without a response, she left. After a while, there was no such thing as being so mischievous. The front desk called for the third time and the result was the same. Tsin Wen did not show much anger, her gaze was calm, but it was only that one could truly feel her anger soaring. The two front desk ladies were trembling. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Of course, if you have money, be good to yourself. You are listening at novelfull.audio
Chapter 9 Of course, if you have money, be good to yourself Sin Wen didn't slap the table and have a big argument with the front desk. She took out a wooden short stick, which was the length of a wrench, from her pocket. She placed her handcuffed right hand on the front desk, and her left hand forcefully inserted the stick between the handcuffs and the skin. In front of the front desk lady, she clicked and broke it off with one pry. Not only did it pry open, but it also cracked. This little stick is just a small vine that tightens its branches. The quality and density of the branches and trunks of the full-level planting emperor are comparable to those of special materials and special techniques of metal. Even the enemies who were at the same level as Tsin Wen in the past did not want to be whipped by her, and the electric shock handcuffs were not a very sophisticated and sophisticated thing, they could not be easily pried open. I didn't pry yesterday because I had to act today, and my aunt won't be serving me in public. The broken object was thrown onto the table with a loud bang, and the two front desk ladies were frightened and exclaimed. At the same time, many people in the nearby crowd also saw this scene, and when they saw that thing, they pried it open. Several newcomers who had just joined the club and their minds were still normal soon became interested. After playing handsome, Sinwen turned around and left. After walking straight on the street for two to three hundred meters, she suddenly stood at a small alley and turned around, looking at a man and a woman who were following her more than ten meters away. What are you doing with me? Tsin Wen frowned. The other two were very young, looking only in their teens or twenties, and their strength was weak. They were only at the beginning of the first level and were not stable yet. It is estimated that they will not awaken for long. We just saw you pry this off. The two of them walked forward with small steps, revealing the handcuffs on their wrists. Can you help us untie it? How much does it cost? We will go earn it to pay you. The girl bravely begged. You two young people, with unstable abilities, how could you also enter this meeting? They are not picky about food at all. We were scammed in by a friend. At that time, we were short of money and said we could borrow at a low interest rate here. And then what? Low interest is low interest, but it's actually included in the contribution rate. Our contribution rate is 1 million points higher than others. Tsinwen took out the straightened wicker stick from his pocket. Reach out, two unlucky kids. One by one, two young people regained their freedom in just 10 seconds, excitedly kicking the two handcuffs that had fallen to the ground into the alley. All right, hurry up and leave. I'm in a good mood today, doing good deeds every day. I won't charge you any money, so don't cause me any trouble. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. We're leaving now, we're leaving now. Two young people thanked each other repeatedly, ran along, and soon disappeared at a certain intersection. Tsin Wen put his hands in his pockets and leisurely returned to his rented house. She doesn't care if the reasons explained by the two young people before were true or false, at least their feelings of wanting to unravel that thing are true. Then she will do good deeds every day and count them lucky. After returning to the rental house and calming down for almost a day and a night, Sin Wen finally had the mood to see how much money he had made last night. Don't count them one by one, just look at the quantity, conservatively estimate at least 40 or 50 million, bundles tied neatly. Looking back at the situation of the two young people earlier, Sin Wen had some speculation about the fundraising model of this mutual aid association. This cult is engaged in high interest loans. Little Vine reached out its tip and poked Sin Wen. Rich, by nutrient solution, the highest grade. Okay, buy one bottle for each brand, let's choose a good one to drink. Tsin Wen changed his bracelet and found a specialty store that specializes in selling various brands of plant nutrient solutions. In addition to mid-range products for planting pots, he also placed an order for high.end products for Little Tingtiao. The shopkeeper packed a large packaging box together and delivered it, without revealing any privacy. Tsin Wen earns a lot of money every day by setting up a stall, 
and most people who follow her know that she doesn't want people to see her not only buying superpower supplements, but also having money to buy high.end plant nutrient solutions. In the house, the package was dismantled, and the little vine happily rolled its nutrient solution to the corner of the wall. Bottles were opened, and the roots were penetrated, and tons were absorbed dry. Then, it sorted these empty bottles in order, placing them first as the best, and so on. The mid-range nutrient solution used by Tsin Wan for vegetable cultivation was also picked out like this by Little Vine. As a good owner, Tsin Wan never wronged his pet under such difficult circumstances back then, and now even less so. She thought of the piles of money in the space and replaced it with a bracelet with money on her account. She used this bracelet to find a small private storage box store on the next two streets. The store rented out small compartments that could receive letters and express delivery, which were charged based on the rental period and were very useful for people who had no fixed residence or temporary needs. Tsinwen rented a grid room according to the highest payment standard, which is the same size as an old dot fashion telephone booth. People can close the door inside and handle their things without fear of being seen. After setting it up, Tsinwen continued to use the bracelet to place an order for a box of third-level supplements to be delivered to that compartment, and paid for cash transactions. Then she slightly changed her outfit and left the room, placing the cash in the compartment. Then, she wandered around and waited for a reminder on her wristband that the item had been delivered. She went over and saw that the original box of the third-level wooden superpower supplement had been fully prepared and placed on the floor of the compartment. Tsinwen was very happy to extend this compartment for a month, and then went to the supplement store to place an order for each brand of three-dot-level supplements. He put down the cash he had to pay and returned satisfied. The next morning, before the morning market, it was still dawn. Tsinwen went to collect the psychic supplement that was delivered last night, and then ordered the advanced plant nutrient solution that Little Tang liked. Then, he started a new day step by step. Today's customers and onlookers are very concerned about Sun Wen's anger and outburst yesterday. The scene of her breaking off her handcuffs yesterday has been circulating all night. Netizens are discussing what kind of wood that hard thin stick is, which can forcefully pry open a metal ring. Many online enthusiasts have listed the famous existing hardwoods, which look alike but not alike. That thin stick. That's the hammer handle. The hammer head is rotten, but the stick is still good. I'll keep it in my hand. It's quite useful as a small pry bar, especially when it comes to picking cans. It's very convenient. Tsinwen skillfully urged the vegetables while opening his eyes and talking nonsense. What kind of hammer is that thin stick? And this kind of hammer? A hammer for smashing nuts, that kind of hard-shelled nut. A small hammer is very useful. When buying nuts, it comes as a gift, and different families give it different gifts. There are those who give pliers and those who give hammers. The hammer is very useful, and hitting nuts is very easy, but the pliers are almost the same. Tsinwen spoke in a straightforward manner, not to mention these people in person. Netizens who followed the live stream of the crowd also believed him a bit, because buying nuts and giving tools are the common methods used by businesses, including giving pliers, hammers, and knives. The small stick that pried the metal ring yesterday, despite its length and thickness, matched the common size of a nut hammer. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Internal Riots in Mutual Aid Societies You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Internal riots in mutual aid societies Tsin Wan is an old fogey. Knowing that all netizens are hot-eyed, how could he be attacked? She admired herself for being so good at making excuses with the handle of the nut hammer that she had used for many years. Netizens were indeed misled and started discussing whether the manufacturer of the small hammer had bought the wrong wood back then. There is also a new angle to complain about the mutual aid association with the core of the evil cult. How the quality of the metal handcuffs used is so poor that an ordinary wooden stick can break them. 
At the end of the morning market, Tsin Wen was urging the last customer to deliver six pots of small vegetables when suddenly there was a loud commotion coming from around the square, and the crowd was also a bit agitated. Tsin Wen took a quick glance amidst his busy schedule and saw Jie Gu running over with his younger brothers. The customers waiting for Xiao Qin Kai also stretched their necks and tiptoed to look around. She lowered her head and sprayed plant nutrient solution onto the planting pot. The small vine on her wrist, pretending to be a bracelet, quietly grew two small leaves. Taking advantage of its unique advantage as the only fully grown plant emperor in the world, she summoned surrounding wild flowers and grasses to establish a temporary plant network, which was used to relay the current situation to Tsin Wen. The young people who ran into the small square were shot and injured. Ah! The pursuers are catching up and forcing them back. I saw their badges, it's that cult. Hey, it seems like we know we lost money and need to clean up the door. The pursuers and Jackie started fighting, both sides drew their guns, and the crowd became even more chaotic than when looked up at the panicked and scattered fleeing crowd around him. I see it, the guest propped up the bag, don't look, hurry up and collect the vegetables. Tsin Wen suddenly exerted a force to ripen the small vegetables in one step. The customers who were distracted by the excitement did not notice this. After collecting two large bags of small vegetables, the commotion escalated, and the screams of being shot and falling to the ground came from the innocent crowd. The stalls and crowds in various morning markets were both panicked and chaotic, with the crowd scattered and fleeing for their lives. Some of the small stall owners, who were close to the chaos, simply threw down the stalls and didn't want them anymore. Their lives were important, so they had to run away first before making a decision. Tsin Wen didn't care about collecting the planting pots well, so he pulled up the small cart and ran away. She wanted to withdraw into the space and run again, but in this crowded place, such a large small stall disappeared in situ, which was difficult to hide from people. She could notice that someone in the surrounding buildings was shooting with a bracelet, so it might be better to broadcast live. She doesn't want to be on camera. She was strong enough to pull the car and run away, leaving the commotion and bloodshed behind. She walked two streets before turning back to the apartment from the other end of the street where she lived. The mutual aid club is located on the street next door. When they riot, the intersection back from the small square is blocked and there is no way to take a detour. However, during the detour, Tsin Wen deliberately took a detour to the street where her private storage box was located. She only passed by the door, and the small vines shrunk and turned into thin lines. They quietly landed on the wheels of the car, slipped into the store to collect the things, and then used passers-by to hitchhike quickly catching up with Tsin Wen who had walked several hundred meters. At the entrance of the apartment, many neighbors gather in groups, gossiping and poking their fingers on their wristbands. They saw Tsin Wen returning from another street corner and praised her intelligence. Tsin Wen steadied his car and shook his sore hands. Now his physical fitness has declined, and his endurance and physical strength have deteriorated significantly. I walked two streets back and many people next door ran to watch the excitement. It's really not worth it. Do you have any new news? Yes, there is. The fight was intense. Several neighbors gathered around to show Tsin Wen the pictures on their wristbands. They are all on dot site photos and short videos. At the entrance of the modeled building of the Mutual Aid Association, several corpses lay upside down, with no one paying attention, and the ground was covered in blood. Those who wear this thing on their hands are considered newcomers. No wonder when they find something wrong, someone runs out. The newcomers' minds are still normal, but of course, their own lives are in danger. Tsin Wen said with her existing experience that it is quite credible. Fortunately, you got away yesterday, otherwise today would be dangerous too. Really, those handcuffs have electric shock contacts that can be remotely activated. I've been electrocuted several times, and if I don't get out of here, I'll definitely be electrocuted to death by them today. Oh my, it's so miserable. The neighbors shook their heads. 
Now no one knows what happened inside this mutual aid association to make them do this early in the morning. I don't know, that's all for those who died on the street. No one will see how many people died inside. Sigh. Sinwen said goodbye to his neighbors with an unbearable expression on his face, pulled up the small cart to the bottom compartment, and after a moment, he dragged the cart filled with things up the stairs with a clanging sound. And the neighbors have already shared the gossip that Sinwen revealed online. Sinwen returned to his own room, tidied up some food, opened a box of three-dot-level supplements as a beverage, and drank while surfing the internet. The internal bloodshed incident within the Mutual Aid Association has already gained some popularity, and surrounding cities have expressed concern. After multiple reposts of various news, some titles have been directly referred to as cults. The news that the metal bracelet has electric shock contacts that can be remotely activated has deepened the public's understanding of it as a cult after it spread online. Not long after, there were a large number of videos online again. The images of members with electric shock handcuffs convulsing from being remotely activated by electric shocks were captured and posted online by friends and family, requesting the help of netizens to dismantle this evil thing. Netizens were very awesome and replied Sun Wen's video link of breaking her handcuffs and her vegetable stall to these people for help. These people first saw that they could pry it off with a wooden stick, so they also tried to do it themselves, but the handcuffs were well made and tightly attached to the skin. They couldn't even fit the insulation gasket in, let alone pry it off with tools. In fact, there are still some technical methods to break the code of remote startup, but it is too difficult for those who are suffering. People with this technology are not even in their social circle. There is no other choice but to gamble on luck, survive today first, and then rush to the small square to squat before the morning market. Sin One, who had been soaking online for a whole day, also saw all kinds of news. He prepared a bag of small green vegetable seeds and went out for a walk, specifically passing by the street in his private storage box. Xiao Tingtiao was responsible for running errands, placing cash in the compartments. When Sinwen turned around an hour later, he happened to bring back the twenty boxes of various brands of third-level supplements that were delivered, and also placed another sum of cash for purchasing advanced plant nutrient solutions. Secondary supplements and mid-range nutritional supplements are purchased in a dignified manner, making it easy for neighbors to see them. For high.end products, this method is used, from shopping accounts to payment and delivery methods, making it difficult to find specific targets. Advanced plant nutrient solution can also allow Little Vine to pick it up on her own in the middle of the night, making her even more unaware and avoiding detours during the day. End of this chapter